they going to make it? Is they going to make it? Let's see. Yes, we've been having some trouble with the trooper. So we're just being extra careful. We're on a road trip right now, so I want to make sure we don't break down. We just had the fuel pump changed. And we had the alternator replaced. Now we're hearing something bagging around, I think. So we're going to take a look. We're taking a quick peek underneath just to check everything. If you remember in our previous video, we made some other repairs to the trooper that included replacing the radiator. We'll put a link to that video here so you can see. But when you do watch that video, you'll notice that we had discovered a pinhole leak in the original radiator. And so we purchased a new one. And Peter, our nephew, was able to get that replaced and working for us. There were a number of other components that we replaced after we first bought the Trooper. Those included uh, uh, components related to the steering, uh, the tie rods, the wheel bearings, and those sorts of things. I'll show some pictures of that while I'm under the uh, Trooper. And then most recently, we found that there was a problem with the U-joints for the drive shaft. Uh, our nephew Peter was taken out for a drive one day and noticed it shaking pretty violently, so we were able to get that replaced. So while I was underneath, the only thing I could see was that the front uh, drive shaft was rotating or spinning freely. I couldn't remember whether this is characteristic of a full wheel drive or if it's normal. Uh, so that was one question that's in my mind. Besides that, I couldn't find anything else that looked unusual or that could be causing any additional road noise. So from our first stop outside of Todd Keck, we kept on our way. On the third day of our road trip through southern Lao, we saw some overheating of the engine as we were driving through the mountains. So we just checked everything the next morning to make sure everything was okay. Hey folks, so here we are with the trooper. We've been driving down through southern Lao and We've been having a few issues that we fixed before the trip, the road trip that we took. And on the road trip now through the mountains, it's overheating a little bit, but I think maybe that's just how hard we're pushing it through the mountains, going between second and third gear and manual. Showed a, another clip about some rattling that we were getting. So that may, I was afraid that might've been the front drive shaft but I think it's normal for it to spin freely now that I look and do some research. 
drop your comments and let me know what you think. Um, going back through the history, we've done a number of things that include changing out the alternator, the fuel filter, um, all the steering components, tie rods, U-joints, so that got rid of a lot of the shaking that we were getting during the drive. Got a new set of tires, so that all seems to help the drive quite a bit. And then we also installed the, the roof rack. And we put the light bar and also the, uh, the roof on in. So that seems to work pretty good for us. Anyway, just a little bit of noise, road noise. I think we're through most of the uh, repairs. Let me know if you think there's anything else major that could uh, fail on a 30 year old vehicle. I think we pretty much have changed everything else out. Also the, the air condition uh, compressor we changed out as well and a new battery. Um, yeah, so let me like to hear your thoughts about any other reliability issues that you might know about with uh, ACSU Trooper. Overall, she's doing pretty good through our road trip. So let us know what you think. We're going to continue our road trip through southern Lao. We'll provide some more videos showing details of our adventures in the south. And thanks for watching.